And welcome to Unscripted uh, Film Reviews with Keegan and Moncrief. My name is Michael Moncrief. And I'm Katie Keegan. Here on Unscripted, we use a five-star system. So we're going to start out tonight with what happens in Vegas. That was my quarter! I put the quarter in the slot! What's mine is yours, baby! We're married now, remember? $3 million dollars and sentencing you to six months hard marriage. Objection. Objection. Welcome home, sweetheart. If you want me to report that you're both working on your marriage, you're going to actually have to do that. <laughs> marriage is hard. I'm almost done. Men and women are not meant to coexist. Oh, yeah. This is happening. By the way, it's your day for dishes. So, what happens in Vegas? Um, it's a romantic comedy mm -hmm. uh, about a couple who get married one night stand in Vegas and uh, win three million dollars, um, and the judge sentences them sentences them to six months of hard marriage, as he says. Um, so I actually I did like this movie. I I gave it three stars, uh, which I normally it is a romantic comedy, right. so I hesitate to give it anything more than that because. It's a romantic comedy. It's a romantic comedy, which I enjoyed it. I and you know I had fun watching it. It made me laugh. Um, I wouldn't say that it's classic cinema, you know. Right. Well, it's kind of sad that this the genre or I guess subgenre of the romantic comedy. There's mm -hmm. just you automatically don't you automatically go into them like not thinking much right. but it's fluff it's just it's pure entertainment but it'd be great for like perhaps to somebody to get a hold of a romantic comedy that you know like i don't mm -hmm. know now did you see definitely maybe that was a little bit different i i didn't okay. was that with ryan reynolds i don't remember his name but it was uh it was earlier this year but anyway so mm -hmm. like i said um, i give it 3 stars it is at the end of the day a romantic comedy um, but it is fun it's not you know, it, it has some of those traditional romantic comedy plot lines. Uh, fairly predictable, but still fun. What did what what kind of gave you? You know, obviously you liked it, mm -hmm. so it wasn't perhaps maybe as stereotypical as some, yeah. or was um, there a I mean, factor in there that I enjoyed it, and it just it wasn't really tired. Um, oh goodness, like Twenty Seven Dresses that came out earlier this year. Every single part of that movie, I could I could name another movie, maybe even three that that almost exact same scene had been in. Uh huh. Um, so there's nothing original. Nothing original. Absolutely nothing original. And so I mean, there are definitely parts of what happens in Vegas that were unoriginal, but then there were some that uh, mm -hmm. that were entertaining. Um, I also appreciated that they how they approached marriage. That it was actually that it's a commitment and that. You know, right? Actually, commit to it okay. um, and try to make it work. So I thought that was a good message. Um, so I enjoyed it. You gave it three stars. I gave it three stars. So liked it. Um, wouldn't say like absolutely loved it, but definitely but liked it. You liked know. it. Worth watching. Um, and that's actually that's already on DVD. So you can okay. go out and watch can go watch out it. And, and rent it. So. Um, next film uh, that I reviewed uh, was called uh, The Fall. It is now on DVD. That story was just a trick to get you to do something for me. Wake up. Why are you making everybody die? We're a strange pair, aren't we? Are you trying to save my soul? Now, obviously, you saw on the trailer that um, it was called Magnificent. I I would have to disagree. Really? <laughs> um, Could disagree with Roger Ebert. I mean, you know, yes, everybody has free to their own opinion. Mm -hmm. But I saw the trailer a while back and was, I mean, beyond stoked. Like, mm -hmm. actually, the first thing I saw was, and don't be fooled by the Salvador Dali poster. Mm hmm. Like, because the poster, if you look at it, it looks like a recreation of a Salvador Dali painting. Mm -hmm. I was like, oh, this should be, yeah. this is going to be really cool and very abstract. And, and, and you know what? It was, you know, visually stunning. Mm -hmm. But really, it's about 
It's set in the 20s in a Los Angeles hospital. Mm -hmm. And it revolves around this stuntman who is bedridden and this other patient who is a little girl. Mm -hmm. And they form a very interesting relationship. And he tells this story about these five, um, I guess, five mythic heroes. I personally thought that the scenes in real life were a lot better than the fantasy. Like, even though the fantasy was very opulent where colors and, you know, shots were concerned, mm -hmm. I did, he was trying way too hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, the director that goes by the name of Tarsim, <laughs> like, <laughs> God forbid, yeah. you know, he made the cell, so now he can go by one name. Mm -hmm. And it was just kind of, I don't know, it was very disappointing. Mm -hmm. But I gave it two stars because, you know, I love the parts that took place in real life. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with all that said, that's about half the movie. So to hate half of the movie and to really like the other half, I don't know. I thought I didn't like the movie as a whole. Okay. But I thought there were some parts that were, were definitely worth watching. But I personally, you know, I was very disappointed with how it ended. Mm -hmm. And the structure of the story was just kind of disorienting. So... I gave it two stars. Um, yeah, so I mean, you can rent it if you want to. It's out on DVD. Okay. Well, our next movie is going to be Burn After Reading.